Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Mark's Tech. So CES 2021 has been insane so far if you've been following along. Last year, fall of 2020 was an amazing time for PCs with the new 30 series of graphics cards from Nvidia. Uh, even though many gamers, and I mean like 99% of gamers were kind of pissed because they couldn't get their hands on it. Um, even today, January 2021, uh, finding those cards in stock is about as hard as finding your dad that walked out 70 years ago for a pack of smokes. He still hasn't returned yet, huh? I gotcha, I gotcha. Now, if last year's 30 series of graphics cards weren't that impressive for you, which I don't, I mean, what, what can impress you at this point? Nvidia just released the, the smallest brother, the 3060, coming in at just $330. That is nuts, and you'll find out why this is nuts later on in the video. The RTX 3060 pretty much doubles the performance of the 2060 that it's replacing. And in my opinion, you know, I have the 2060 my gaming PC. I mean, even today, it's, it's a pretty nice card. It can still play, a, you know, a lot of games. Not maxed out, obviously, but around 1440p with some settings maxed out. And you're still getting pretty high frame rate. So that is good to know that this graphics card that's only $330, let me just rephrase that again, um, is, is going to be double the performance. That is just mwah. I don't know if you guys hear that, but I'm waiting for my PS5 to chill out on the CD. There we go. It stopped. I don't know why I just spun at 10,000 RPM for no reason. Okay, so here's the kicker. Ready? NVIDIA senior VP Jeff Fisher stated that the RTX 3060 laptop is going to be 30% faster than the PS5. Considering that the PS5 load times are 100% faster than the PS4 load times, according to Sony, getting a 30% even more from a laptop is... It is... Wow. The laptops that will contain the 3060 chip is going to be starting at $1,000. And if that's not enough for you, the 3070 laptops are you know, a few more hundred more expensive coming in at $1,300. And if you want the 3080 powered laptops, uh, well, that's going to cost you a little bit more coming in at two grand. So what does this mean exactly for PS5? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think it really means anything for the PS5. Jeff Fisher stated that the 3060 laptops are going to be 30% faster than the PS5, but I just don't see how that's the case. I think it's just creating hype, to be honest, because the 3060 laptops are 1080p machines. I mean, they even said that it's a 1080p machine targeting around 90 FPS at 1080p Ultra, which the PS5 can already do. In fact, if you're playing PS5 on 120 FPS mode, it sticks between 1080p and 1200p uh, while, I mean, you know, pretty much hovering around 120 fps some dips are at 117 116 fps but major you know uh majority of the time it is at 120 fps similar to the xbox series x so not only are you getting 30 fps more on the ps5 but also if you turn off 120 fps mode and go into i guess resolution mode uh, you'll get 4k 60 with rtx turned on now since the 3060 laptops uh, are targeting 1080p at 90 fps or 1080p ultra at 90 fps I'm not entirely too positive they'll do 4K 60 with RTX. I mean, damn, if it, listen, it, I know miracles can happen, okay? Maybe like, you know, your dad coming home after seven years. Uh, but also a lot of console players don't know this simple fact. Just because you're PS4, PS5, not PS4, PS5, or Xbox Series X is playing at 4K, um, it doesn't mean that the graphics are maxed out. It just means that you're playing on a resolution that is 4K. There's more to graphics than just resolution. Technically, an old PC can play 4K as long as the actual, you know, other settings are set to low. So, you know, the, 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 it's pretty obvious that the Xbox and the PlayStation 5 don't do 4K maxed out with RTX. It's, they're still doing 4K with RTX, but the actual other settings like shadow quality, gun quality on Call of Duty, for example, uh, anti-aliasing they're all set to not ultra they're just set to high sometimes even low or not maybe, maybe maybe not low but medium and high for sure definitely not ultra these consoles are not doing 4k 60 with rtx at ultra settings they're not doing that guys <laughs> but i still enjoy console gaming pretty much just as much as pc gaming and the reason is because well you can have the most powerful pc in the world with the most powerful hardware powerful parts powerful everything uh, but it's all still up to the developers to make sure you're getting the most out of what you paid for. Take Assassin's Creed, for example. That game has been completely obliterating PCs uh, since forever, okay? Um, and that game runs pretty damn good on the consoles. So just, you know, if you think about it like this, it's, it all comes down to optimization, right? 
it, it is uh, it is a lot easier to optimize for consoles than it is for PCs. And that's pretty obvious because the consoles have one set of hardware, or I guess they're all equal, basically. Okay, my PS5 is the same exact thing as the PS5 from someone living in UK, uh, Russia, China, Japan, wherever they are. It's the same exact hardware. So the developers just have to pretty much optimize for that one thing. That's it. Meanwhile, with PCs, oh man, you got thousands upon thousands of combinations and they have to optimize for every single one of those things. And if they don't, well, then it's going to be a GTA 4 port all over again for the PCs where even the most insane amount of PCs uh, couldn't play that game properly. So, well, there you go. So why did I title the video the way I titled it? You guys are saying, well, Mark, it's clickbait. Well, yeah, you I mean, you're probably right. You guys clicked on it, didn't you? But also, I was kind of making fun of all the other publications that are saying the same exact thing just because one person said it. Sorry, Jeff, the 3060 laptops. Um, I just don't see how they're going to be more powerful than the PS5. I, I, I really don't. I don't see it. It doesn't add up. I mean, it's a laptop, so I can't imagine thermals are going to be that insane that it doesn't thermal throttle. And uh, the second that happens, well... <laughs> There goes your 30% buff that you had over the PS5 if that statement was true, but it's not. It's not true. I just don't see it. It's a 1080p machine, Jeff. So what did you guys think about CES so far? I th again, I thought it was amazing. I want to know what you guys have to say, so leave your comments down below. And yeah, that's it. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.